Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of using place value to compare numbers and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a little table over here and there are four different cars and the weights are given to us in pounds over here ranging from 32,013 down to 19,876. So we've got four different comparisons here that we're going to need to look at. We need to compare car A and D, B and C, A and C, and C and D. And remember that the symbols that we're going to use are going to either be less than, greater than, or equal to when we're comparing numbers. And the reason that I know that this very first sign that I wrote is a less than is because if you kind of turn your head a little bit, you can make that less than sign turn into an L. It's pointing in the correct direction. If it's not, it's going to be a greater than sign. So first, let's look at A and D. And so what I like to do is I'm going to rewrite the numbers. I'm not going to write the comma just because sometimes that can be confusing. If you have a really big comma, it can look like one. And I'm just going to put the numbers right on top of each other. I'm going to label them. That's A and that's D. Because really, when you are comparing numbers, what you do is you start with the largest place value in either number. So in this case, both numbers go to the exact same spot. This is the 10,000 sign. I represent that with T, T, H. And since this 3 is larger than this 2, I don't have to look at anything else. 3 ten thousands, that's worth 30,000, is going to be larger than 2 ten thousands, which is worth 20,000. And it doesn't matter what anything else is. It's a really simple comparison. So we're going to make the opening go to the larger number. So we're going to say A is greater than D. Let's do the same thing for the second one, B and C. So I'm going to write B right here, and I'm going to write 19,876. And my C number, which is 26,487. Once again, we're going to look at the largest place value in either number. And it looks like in the 10,000th place, my 2 is going to be larger than my one, so I don't really need to look at anything else. My 20,000 is always going to be larger than my 10,000, no matter what other digits are behind it. So my C is going to be my larger number, so I'm going to make the opening go this way and say B is less than, remember this can be in a less than C. So let's look at A and C. And A is going to be 32,013, C is going to be 26,487, we're getting the same answer again, the 10,000th place is going to give us the correct answer. This 3 is larger than this 2, which means the A is going to be larger. A is greater than C. Now the last one is going to be a little bit different. We are going to have to move beyond just the 10,000. Because if you look at this C number, 26,487, and the D number, 27,486, they're very similar. They just kind of swapped a few digits. And if you start at your largest place value, in this case, the tens, ten thousandths place, they're equal. So now we go to the next largest place. We're looking at the six and the seven. And that six is worth six thousand. And that seven is worth seven thousand. And the seven thousand is always going to be greater than the six thousand. So D is going to be slightly larger. Now it's time for you to practice. Here is a sample problem like one you might see on a third grade test. Go ahead and read the three clues you have up here and find which of our answer choices, A, B, C, or D, is going to fit all of the clues. Pause the video and figure out the answer. When you have your answer, unpause the video and let's see if you're correct. One way to think about our answer is to draw a little number line here. It says the number is going to be less than 2,512, so it's going to be on this side of it. But it also needs to be greater than 2,328, so it needs to go on the right side of that. So it needs to fall between these two lines. And right now, I can eliminate 2,601 because it is too large. But you see our other three fall within the range. So really, it's this last clue that's going to tell us. The tens digit is 0. That's 10 digit is 9. That 10 digit is 0, and that is 5. So our answer is going to be D, 2,400, because it has a 0 in the tens place, and it is also greater than 2,328 and less than 2,512.